Today on Big Bore Air Guns, we're going to be shooting the Bintac MCAR through a Pro Chrono chronograph. We'll be using the Mr. Hollow Point, 0 0.459, 310 grain solid points today for our ammo. It's a nice lightweight round, should give us some pretty high velocity and still give us pretty impressive foot pounds of energy. So one of the things that you'll get when you buy the MCAR is you'll get an upgrade kit that allows you to increase your overall pressure to 7,000 PSI, which will allow you to adjust the regulator all the way up to 4,500 PSI. And that's what we're gonna be shooting with today. So here we go, let's set up and get shooting. Got a bit of wind today, so bear with me the wind noise. Here's our first bullet, one of these 310 grain solid points from Mr. Hollow Point. Let's go ahead and cock the rifle. Drop our bullet in there. Alright, first shot through it. Let's go ahead and see what kind of velocities we get through this. Now I am shooting with my regulator turned all the way up, so this would basically be your max velocity for the rifle. So here we go, shot number one. So 310 grains at 1145 feet per second. Let me go ahead and zoom in for you just in case that's not showing up real well. So there you guys go, 1145 feet per second. Definitely not a bad velocity for a 310 grain 45 caliber bullet. So here we go, one more of these 310 grain solid points from Mr. Hollow Point. Go ahead and cock back the bolt. All right, shot number two. Let's see what kind of velocities we get. 1143 feet per second. Well, that's pretty awesome, guys. Let's go ahead and take a third shot, and that should give us a pretty good idea of what you're capable of getting with the Bintac MCAR. So we're down to our third and final shot today. Like I said, you're gonna wanna stay tuned for the end of the video. We've got a really important announcement about the Bintac MCAR for you. Here we go, shot number three. Another one of these 310 grain solid points from Mr. Hollow Point. Here we go, shot three. So 1134 feet per second. Now you can drop the regulator down to like 3000 PSI and you're gonna get a lot of shots. They're all gonna be extremely consistent. I've just got it maxed all the way up just to show you guys the max power that you can expect out of this rifle.